Michelle from the AllergyMenu.com and today I'm going to show you how to make gluten-free vegetarian lasagna. Okay, so to prep for this dish, I'm going to finely grate uh, two medium zucchini and a couple of carrots. I'm going to crush a couple of cloves of garlic, finely chop a celery stalk and just have a tablespoon of oil ready and I've got a 400 gram can of crushed tomatoes. And I've also got some fresh spinach leaves here and I'm going to actually roast a capsicum which just involves placing it on a baking tray in the oven under the grill until the skin gets really crispy and falls off. Then you actually remove the skin, I'll show you how that's done. So you just pop it in whole in the oven like that, turn it once on a high heat. Okay, so I've done all my preparation for my vegetarian lasagna now. I've got all of these. This is grated carrot, I've got grated zucchini, I've got finely chopped celery, and I've got some chopped up spinach, and I've got 400 gram can of crushed tomatoes, and some spices. This is a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and half a teaspoon of chili. And this is my roasted red capsicum. So this is how it comes out, rather blackened and burned. And then, as you can see, the skin just peels off. So I just peel that off. You can do it under running water if it's too hot. I've left it for a moment, so it's actually not that hot. So I just peel it off, and then I'm going to cut that up and add it to this mixture of vegetables. Right, so now I've got one tablespoon of oil along with my two crushed cloves of garlic and I'm just browning the garlic off and then I'm going to add the rest of my vegetables and just simmer those for 10 minutes on a low heat. And that includes my tomatoes and spices, pop the whole lot in. Okay, so while our vegetables are cooking, we're going to make our cheese sauce. So the first step for that is to get one litre of milk and then just grab a quarter of a cup and mix it into your corn flour. I've got four tablespoons of gluten-free corn flour and I'm mixing a quarter of a cup of milk into that and making it a paste. Just get it nice and smooth. Okay, so when that's a smooth paste, we add it with the rest of the milk to a saucepan and then we're just going to heat until it reaches and thickens up. Okay, so with this milk and corn flour mixture, it's important to stir it continuously until it thickens. Then we'll take it off the heat and add three cups of grated cheese. So I've turned the heat off on both of my dishes here, and this is the vegetable mixture. It's thickened up, but in the last couple of minutes of cooking, I added two tablespoons of tomato paste and I seasoned with salt and pepper and I also added half a teaspoon of sugar which just seems to bring out all the rest of the flavours. And so this is how this looks and we've got really thick white sauce here to which we're going to add three cups of cheese, grated cheese, tasty. And you go and just stir it around until it's a really nice, thick bechamel. Okay, so now we're at the finish line and we're going to compile this dish and bake in the oven. So we're going to start with a layer of gluten-free pasta. Now mine doesn't contain any eggs, so watch out for that if you want your dish to be egg-free. So we pop that on the bottom and spread them to make it fit perfectly. Then, we place a layer of the vegetable mixture. Use half of this mixture on top of your lasagna. Make sure they're instant ones too. Instant, gluten-free, egg-free lasagna. You should be able to find it in the supermarket. So place a half of your vegetable mixture on top there. Smooth it out to make it nice and even. Then cover with a third of the yummy cheese sauce. Okay, smooth that out also. Now another layer of pasta. 
And now the rest of the veggie mixture on top of your lasagna pasta sheet. And then another layer of bechamel. Smooth that out. Right, final layer of pasta. And finally, top with the remaining bechamel sauce. Just bake that in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. 350 degrees Fahrenheit for Gas Mark 4 for about 30 minutes until it's nice and cooked through, the pasta's soft and it's browned on the top. If it browns too much on the top, just cover it with a layer of alfoil halfway through cooking. So after 25 to 30 minutes, you take the lasagna out of the oven and it looks like this.